I'm going to practice decision making with a timer. I'm going to force myself to make decisions in under two minutes. Well, I'm going to try. This will be playing Siamese Mahjong. I call these Siamese sprints. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and see how you do. I think it really helps with decision making, quick decision making. That's the goal. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell when you do, so you don't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed. We're going to be the dealer for each one of these sprints. We'll do three. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints, and laps two and four will be set up. Okay. Here we go. I think we're going to play two, four, six, eight for sure. So I'm just going to pull it and then check out the fallout. Two, four, six, eight. Oh man, maybe two, two, four, six, eight hands. Cause look at that. Okay. Let's see. We got a lot of odds there though. Okay. So two, four, six, eight. 2468 with dragons. Concealed hand. 682. Let's see. 2468. 6789, I think. 6789. 6789. Let's hold that. Lap. Okay. So this is how I would do it. Let's see. I kind of like trying to figure out what my discards are by kind of arranging them just because I'm, I'm OCD a bit. Uh, so forgive me for that. Okay. So this is how I would play this. Two, four, six, eight concealed hands, hand with dragons. This would be the last one under two, four, six, eight. We could probably use these in here. Two, four, six, eight. And then up here, six, seven, eight, nine. If I had to pick a hand, that would be the second hand down. But I would not pick a hand, not till I run out of discards. I would just gather six, seven, eight, nine until the multiples reveal which hand to play. So I would probably, if I had to pick a hand, I'd play six, seven, eight eight, nine, that would use the multiples. But again, I wouldn't pick a hand yet. I would stay concealed for as long as possible, work around the multiples and try to make it work. So yeah, that's what I would do here. And that leaves eight discards. That's pretty good. If you would do something differently, write sprint one in the comment section and what you would do differently. You know what? I probably would keep this one, this five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Use this as joker bait. So one little modification there. Now we have seven discards, but really there's going to be more, more like 10, 12, maybe. But I like keeping my options open. I would keep all of them and then get through these and then start whittling down this. But this is clear to me. Let me know what you think about that. Sprint one. Here we go, next sprint. Okay, here we go. Okay, 
So we do have lots of wins here. Uh, no multiples there. We have two, nine, a pung of nines. And then here's a pair of nines. We could do something with three, six, nine. Three, six, nine, and then maybe the new sequence hand. Wait, one, two, three, here we go. One, two, three with news, pair hand, and then three, six, nine, or like numbers with nines. Ooh, there's one. Or maybe even a quint if we drew well, in which case I would hold the seven, eight, two. Okay, so. Okay. All right, now, this is what I would do. Lap. Okay. News. Oops, that doesn't go there. What was I thinking? This goes down here. Let's put these over here now. Okay. Um, there we go. Okay, so 10 discards. So we have news pair hand. Obviously, we have a lot of work to do. We need north and pair up, pair up. News pair hand, and then down here, three, six, nine, or maybe a quint with nines if we get more jokers. So I would hold the seven, eight, because then we could do seven, eight, nine, and then these would be the quints if we get another joker. So really we have eight, nine, 10, 11, probably 11 discards, which is not bad actually for, for a quint and a pair hand. I think that's what I would do. If you would do something differently, write sprint two and what you would do. Okay, on to sprint three. Mm-hmm, here we go. Okay, last one. Okay, four flowers. I wonder if we could play an addition hand. We have a one, two, let's see. Do we have a nine, three? We have nine, three. Okay, right there. And then here, we gotta use these. Okay, I'm thinking the news year hand. Oh man, look at that. Five, seven, five, seven. Oh my goodness. Five, seven, one, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I would hold those. Okay, that's what I would do. Five discards. Now, we can't use both of these, but we're equally ready or set up for an addition hand using all these flowers for 9, 3, 12, or 7, 5, 12. So either way, I mean, it's equal there. So we can't keep it all. So let's just say we have five, uh, six, eight, ten discards, which is not too bad. It's a, too high. I, I'd rather be at eight discards, but there's no gaps with either of these. There's one gap here. We need, well, we need an east, a single, but those are, those should be easy to come by. Um, but the eight crack is the danger zone here. But look at those white dragons. Let's see here. Hmm. Let's just count because Another thing we could do is one, three, five with dragons. 
see we have nine towards this here we'd have three four five six seven eight nine same number but that would deplete the flowers here so that would mean that we would have one two three four five six seven eight nine hmm maybe that would be better let's just see so here we have five disc five six seven eight nine ten discards ten discards if we went the other way yeah look at that not as let's see here eight twelve so I think my original plan was better. I think I would stick with it. Okay. That's what I would do. News year hand edition, whichever one comes in, 9, 3, 12, 7, 5, 12, one or the other. Okay, that's it. All right, let's see how we would, did with time now. I think I made it this time. The last couple times I did sprints, I didn't do so well. All right, let's see. Sprint one, one minute 49. Sprint two, one minute 53. Sprint three, one minute 40. And you know, I did vacillate a little on that last one. Either way, I think I made it under two minutes. So that was a pretty good set of sprints i'm encouraged because i'm going to be playing in a tournament soon so this is a really great way to practice i encourage you to do it if you like to play siamese mahjong or if you want to go to a tournament get your set out and do this exercise it really is a lot of fun and it's a great way to push yourself and desensitize yourself against that clock because you know you're on a timer Anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Siamese Sprints using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.